Olava, can you explain what racial profiling is? Okay, so racial profiling is a state a government practice whereby people are being hmm, preemptively by the government preemptively being uh, 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 being treated like potential criminals because they are of a particular race because they're black because they're latinx or because they're uh, uh, Arab or any of those things. A very good example of, of, of racial profiling is the so-called stop and frisk program in New York. This was a couple of decades ago uh, and I'm not sure whether it's still going on but what I do know is that for a long time the police uh, in New York was arresting uh, what well, was sort of stopping people, black people and Latinx people and searching them for weapons or for drugs on a massive scale. So people were being, for no apparent reasons, being stopped, being frisked, and then things would be found and people would go to jail, be criminalized. Now, the problem with that is, is that there was, these, these cops didn't have to have a reason um, to stop and search these people. They were only doing it because they were black, right? Which means that, um, you're literally like searching people on a massive scale so that you can find the few people without reason, without reasonable grounds that have uh, uh, contraband, that have guns or have drugs on them. In the Netherlands, for example, we have uh, what we call racial profile, ethnic, ethnic, ethnic profiling. That means that, for example, police people will stop uh, young Moroccans with expensive clothing. The city of Rotterdam, uh, uh, the, the police department of Rotterdam last year in 2018 announced that it was going to be stopping uh, uh, Moroccan kids with expensive clothing and, um, and taking their clothes away unless they could prove, they could show the, uh, the receipts, the invoices of what they were wearing. So they were already being treated like they were criminals, like they had stolen these clothing. Uh, before there was any proof that they had done so. Um, we've had numerous, numerous reports in Europe, in Netherlands, in France, in America, where just on a massive scale, people of color, black people, like are being treated like they already could be criminals before they have done anything. Now, what is really tricky, what is really, really dangerous is that these practices are being are moving away from not only the police on the street, but it's also going into the way, for example, uh, the tax authorities treat people. So they're creating algorithms by which they can predict whether or not somebody is more likely to do something that is not allowed. And some of these analyses, these algorithms, are very much, very much dependent on people's race. So, um, for example, border control. One of the things that they're experimenting with is having these risk assessments, these profiles of people, and that if you fit a profile that is not risky, you can just move through border customs without anybody bothering you, right? But if you have a profile that is quote-unquote dangerous or risky or high risk, you will be stopped every time you try to cross uh, the borders. Again, these algorithms are already factoring in people's race and people are given a higher risk level simply because of their race, right? Now, that's, for all intents and purposes, legally speaking, that's racism by government. It's government doing, uh, 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 developing and employing and carrying out racist policies which means that that's unconstitutional. The Constitution of the Netherlands um, assures me, assures you, uh, that you should not be treated differently on the basis of your race. When the police is treating me, by definition, because of my race, differently, when the customs, when the tax, when even uh, 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 health insurers are starting to treat me differently because of my race, that is racism. So, racial profiling is what? Racism by government. We twerk on it, twerk on it, twerk on it.
<laughs> I projected on my amp to twerk. Hey, I love these Olava Explains. Hashtag Olava Explains. But <laughs> I need your help. I need to know what it is you would like me to explain to you. So please get on our Instagram, Olava Talks, our Facebook page, Olava Talks, and our Twitter, Olava Talks, or in the comments below, and let us know what you would like us to explain to you. What would you like us to explain? We have, we obviously do not claim or guarantee that we will get it right though. We don't know. <laughs>